The main topic of the film, as I say, it started out with my research on the relationship between diet and health, particularly on diet and cancer initially, but then eventually on diet and health. And there's something about nutrition that the public seems not to know. Uh, it's very dramatic, very effective, and can solve a lot of problems. It's, it's an idea that for many people is kind of provocative, different, not exactly the way we, most of us think. And so for that reason, it's captured a lot of attention. But it's captured a lot of attention primarily because it works. It actually works. It can solve problems. You know, for individual health, and of course for, um, I would say, for societal health. It has relationships to a lot of different things we do in our society, including now the environment. Environment and, and uh, economic uh, matters concerning the cost of health care. I mean, these are all issues that arise from that, from that idea. Well, in the beginning, as I will explain in the presentation, was the idea that um, we, that, that consuming all the protein that we can get is not a good idea. Most protein of which comes from animal-based foods. Um, and so I came from a farm. That was my background. You know, protein was very important. It is. Protein is an important nutrient. But most people overconsume it far too much. That, in turn, triggers a whole lot of things that go wrong uh, nutritionally. And so um, I, I would say, yeah, the, the, the research mostly focused on an idea concerning protein nutrition, especially as related to cancer. Cancer was one of my specialties. And so early on, I got the impression and got some results that showed that the amount of protein that's consumed, for example, in a laboratory, by laboratory animals can control whether or not cancer occurs or doesn't occur. We can reverse cancer. We can reverse other diseases. And now we know we can cure heart disease in humans, even who, people who have advanced heart disease. Drugs cannot do this. Food can do this. So in my view, this is a rediscovery, I, I, maybe I can say, of what Hippocrates knew 2,500 years ago. He said, let food be thy medicine, and medicine be thy food. So it's a very different paradigm. We're talking about food actually creating health instead of drugs and procedures. That's what it comes down to. And of course, the kind of food that we're talking about is one that is where the protein intake is modest, what it should be, and that's the protein from plants. Plants have all the protein we need. We don't need anything else.